2K now. Body and soul, Jenny Morris there. They're warming up. Would you please welcome one of the characters we've met down here in Tassie and everyone, you can do it again, Craig Farrell. Hi, Bob. Craig Morgan. Hi. You all right? Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. You know, they say, oh, there wouldn't be a lot of uh, talent in Tassie, but believe me, there's a stack of it, and Craig is one of the, he's well known on Taz TV down here, and in fact, uh, one of your bloopers from Taz TV was used on the BBC. Yeah, went to, uh, I think, London Weekend Television. Uh, it was a, a robot character, and it, it fell down and destroyed the whole set, and and mucked up. And, and they paid you? 50 pounds. I've had three 50 pound <laughs> checks and I cashed them when the dollar was down so I made a lot of money out of it. Could, could you believe this, that we don't have a lot of money and maybe you could get Taz TV to fix you up for this spot. So this is okay. free, is it? This is a freebie. He does voices. I don't know whether you guys in the audience have seen him do stuff on telly, but if you haven't, we're going to do a few now. Would you like to hear um, Bob Santa Maria? Yeah? Bob Santa Maria? How do you do? The pop industry is considerably overtoned with communistic undertones. For example, Mr. Sutherland set here today <laughs> features strongly red carpet and red sets. Our music, our music is only influenced by communists from the Eastern Bloc countries. And there's other certain communistic aspects in our music with names of certain bands. Like, uh Red Gum, for example. Oh. Red Gum, a very communistic name. I believe they are strong supporters of the Communist Party, Mr. Sutherland. <laughs> there are other songs. I see red. It's obviously <laughs> communistic. Gone are the days when the family would go to the Sunday church for a wholesome family day. It is now that people in crowds worship the sex, drugs and rock and roll <laughs> generation. <laughs> we'll pull up there. We'll pull up there. Do, do another one. Round of applause for that. Good Bob Sutherland. Who was uh, John Howard? Could you let yeah. load the budget, the mini budget just handed down? Yeah. How will it affect pop music industry? Yeah, well, the mini budget uh, that Mr. Keating uh, has just handed down is going to spell the end for the music industry as we know it. Oh. Uh, many of the Australian uh, groups are on uh, are on benefits from the government, and uh, now they're going to be means tested, which means that it's going to be very difficult for any bands to perform in the future. <laughs> you probably did right, John. John Howard. What about Joe, my, one of my favourites, Joe Bjorki peterson Joe, Joe. Uh, my goodness, uh, my goodness me, uh, Danny. Uh, you know, uh, us old legends, we've got we've to <laughs> stick together. I mean, you and I, Donny, we've been, we've been around for a long time and people say <laughs> uh, all the time, they say, my goodness, you know, you don't look your age. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and unlike you, Donny, I, I don't use those artificial colourings right. and, and preservatives. I've, uh, I've grown old gracefully. And, uh, <laughs> and people say, they say, Joe, you're a marble short of the barbecue. And, and, <laughs> and you know, I, I, I just, uh, I think this is all rumour. They, they, they try, when you're on top, they say, well, he, he can't be on top. We've got to, we've got to make him fall down because he's just no good. Uh, you, you must experience this. You I certainly do, Joe. Uh, Thank you, you know. Joe. Be Oggy Peters. That's a goodie. One more, one more. And I might, I might mention that in back of us we've got a fair bit of uh, noise that you may pick up from time to time. There's a whole stack of other things happening here at the International Village. We'll show you those a little later. Ooh. Just one more, please. Craig. One more. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Canberra and Peter Harvey. It's been a day of deliberation, with the Prime Minister saying that he was unaware of any of Mr Keating's pre-tax budget plans. As the autumn leaves fall here in Canberra, it's a time to sit back and reflect and think what is going to happen in this world of ours. How's that? Finish it off as Peter would, will you? All right. This is Peter Harvey, a cat bro. <laughs> Craig Farrell, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Top 20 for Fleetwood Mac now. Big love. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, There's Don. There's plenty of talent here in Taz, and we're coming to you live from Launceston on this Saturday morning.